I always wanted to be a model, and my mother said I couldn't do that because the devils did that, and they showed their underwear and everything. <gasps> Boy, she got a surprise now. I show more in my underwear. <laughs> One of the nicest things you can do for your body is to like put on some music and dance. If you can add just make it even better. I started in burlesque in 1959. We were feminine, love goddess. That's basically what we presented. There was very few jobs a woman can do in 1966. I was bored with my life. I wanted to be memorable. I found myself on the stage. And I know who I am now. The women of my generation, I am proud to say this, gave you guys the freedom that you've got now. There was a sense of empowerment. And so I got to be a bad girl. I didn't know I was pioneering. I just knew I was working. We were making burlesque history, you know, and we were becoming stronger women by doing that. This is my moment. It has come. It was an adventure. Those years were the happiest years of my life. I also did a lot of drugs and drank a lot of champagne. No, I really shouldn't be alive now, but I am alive. <laughs> I recently received a phone call from the Burlesque Hall of Fame inviting me to perform. And I said, are you out of your mind? It seemed impossible to go back after 33 years when I left it that long ago, feeling old then. It's transformative. It's absolutely magical. At 73, I do feel I want to be provocative sometimes, yes. This is it, the 66-year-old strip.